For me, one of the very best things about cruising the rivers with Viking is the fact they take you to places that you just never normally see. You'd never know unless you had the inside knowledge, which is the benefit of traveling with them. And this is a really good example. Today we've stopped at this beautiful town. It's called Wertheim. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm taking the optional excursion. This one's a little bit more active. This is a hike up to Wertheim Castle. Founded in the seventh century, Wertheim is a town located on the junction of the rivers Tauber and Main. It's a beautiful medieval style town with half timbered houses and small cobbled streets. The architecture here in Wertheim is incredible. It almost feels as though you've walked into a fairy tale. There's a lot to see, like St Killen's Chapel, a striking Gothic chapel built all the way back in 1472. The Engelsbrunnen, or Angel's Well, constructed in 1574 out of the red sandstone, typical to this area. And the clock tower is noticeable for its two clock faces, one with an hour hand only, specifically for residents of the castle. The castle is an absolute standout landmark and something you've got to check out. But if you're not taking the optional excursion and hiking up here, you can always take the included excursion, which is a walk around town to explore, and then come walking up the hill and explore it yourself. Once the residents of the Council of Wernheim, the castle is one of the most picturesque ruins in Germany. The castle was built on a narrow rock ledge and the hike up takes you through some truly beautiful landscape. So tell me, it's a fascinating castle. What's the history behind it? The history started at uh, 12th century, mm -hmm. where earls came over. The, where they come from, it's unknown, but they built a castle over here. And they were very close to the Staufe king here, and they became leechmen to the king of Bohemia. So the families grew over here, and uh, they built and continually built uh, the castle and lived here. And in 1556, the family of Wertheim uh, died out. Okay. So the Löwenstein family took over. The castle's seen its fair share of disasters throughout yes. time too, hasn't yes. it? Uh, some yes. big explosions? In 1619, there was a, very, a huge gunpowder explosion. They say one maid uh, who was a little bit drunk, she forgot to blow out a candle. No. So everything exploded and due to the fire, the castle was heavily damaged. Let me tell you, the view over the town of Wertheim is absolutely gorgeous. Make sure you bring your camera and a little bit of advice if you're taking the walking tour. Good shoes, come dressed nice and warm if you're coming in the autumn months. It's a little bit on the chilly side.